What up with y'all? Same shit, different flies on it. Just exposing these stinking assholes. Not all of them, but the majority is stinking hoes and stinking bitches. It is. And don't be trying to look for perfection in no other race. Because all of them got a flaw. We all got flaws as human beings. But women got flaws too, especially these American women. Yeah, American woman trying to steal my shit. American woman, you narcissistic ass bitch. <laughs> yeah, talking about this American narcissism. Yeah, women is a reflection of our culture. Yeah, you could go say, oh, I'm going to be a passport brother. I'm going to get me a Latino. Right? That's where you going next. Yeah, I know you say you are disenchanted with the black chicks. I know a lot of you brothers say you disenchanted with white chicks too. So you want to go, oh, Latino. So you want to get hot and spicy. Yeah, you want it hot and spicy, right? Okay. Let me tell you about the hot and spicy. For my experience, just dealing with Latino women and Latino culture. Latinos, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, they are more go-getters. You got to understand, in their country, they didn't come from no welfare. They didn't come from no handouts. So this type of woman, she got a different mentality. She's not Americanized in a traditional sense. Like these women are not, uh, they not codependent like that. Latino women are go-getters. So we're going to give you, we're going to give you that. And they got some of the best work ethic. The Arabics, uh, like I say, the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, they got some of the best work, th work ethics. Uh, the Indians from India some of the best work ethics so we can all learn from each and every race because really there's only one race the human race and that's right hey what up man say what's up you two you gonna turn up you gonna turn up boy yeah but all women got a flaw ain't no perfect woman and ain't no free women they all cause she gonna cost you money or it might be both. She might cause you money and she might cause you dilemma. Yeah, sometimes that'd be more than the money. Sometimes better just to trick. Hey, yeah, take this $50, put it in your head, and get the fuck on. Yeah, that's how some dudes do them. But no, we back to the Latino. Um, the bad part I seen about the Latino women, because I, I keep it trill. Man, they be gorgeous. Soon as she get 30, oh my. Look, soon as she get 30, she going to be big as a house. Yeah, she going to be big and freaky and frisky. Yeah, what you going to do with that? All that 300 pounds. She coming, oh, my culo. My culo. My culo. My culo. <laughs> <laughs> you better get your big ass off me, Cinderita. God damn. You about to bust my piñata. Yeah, but Latino women get big as hell, man. You don't know, like big, big bitches. You don't know, like fat women. Don't mess with no Mexicans. Don't mess with no Puerto Rican women. Because I'm telling you, soon when they get 30, they're going to blow up like the Michelin. The Michelin man. I'm for real. She's going to look like an open can of biscuits. 